Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the six. Okay, we know that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. Okay, so keep that in mind. This reading may or may not be for you, and the timing. This could. This is a message that I'm picking up that is coming in in the very near future. It's a message I'm picking up today for the future. Okay. So what do we have for a message for around the six? Knight of Wands. Action. King of Pentacles reversed. Four of Wands reversed. We have somebody here. This party is over. There's nothing to celebrate. It's a messy situation. It's time to clean it up. Somebody has been in a messy situation. It's probably a commitment or a foundation that isn't no longer happy. This is in the past. This there's It was fun. Yeah, probably wasn't real fun though. Anyhow, it may have been good for a minute, but it's over. The party is over. The celebration is over. Now it's messy. Okay, it's time to take action. It's action time. The King of Pentacles is somebody that is probably uh, unrealistic, unstable, insecure, uh, may not have a lot to offer. This is somebody that is greedy, selfish, uh, above the law, perhaps. This is somebody that um, disloyal, could be unfaithful. The King of Pentacles in reverse. This is a gambler. This is somebody that is very focused on uh, uh, money. You know, they may be focused on money, but they may not have a lot of money, But or they may be. This could be somebody that is uh, filthy rich, that is very stubborn and, and miserable. Okay, it could be that way, or it could be somebody who doesn't have a pot to piss in. could be either way. Um, the King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that's not stable, not solid, not secure, or somebody that is extremely greedy extremely greedy um, now this is acting taking action usually without thinking so somebody could be taking action uh, right now moving very very fast they got this desire to do something okay this is a strong desire um, now there could this could be the end of a commitment they're, they're definitely unhappy somebody's not happy and their unhappiness is springing them into action somebody who's not very practical they're not being practical they're not being responsible um, <clears throat> stubborn 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 three of pentacles reverse unwilling to cooperate lack of teamwork lack of togetherness unwilling to new learn new skills this is somebody that is uh, very shallow very superficial um, doesn't follow through with goals or maybe even be a thief. I mean, the King of Pentacles in reverse could be doing, does something illegally. These could be illegal dealings. Um, this is lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness, lack of cooperation, um, lack of respect for others. We do have somebody here that does not respect others. And it looks like they're moving very, very fast. So whoever this person is, they probably have lost something because the pentacles are reversed um, they're maybe they're, they're not getting much support or people are not respecting them or there's a lack of respect here it's because they don't respect but anyhow um, queen of swords the queen of swords is somebody is all about the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so the queen of swords is very authentic she has some sort of information looks like she has uh, well, she has two swords, and typically the Queen of Swords only has one, so she has she probably has quite a bit of information. Anyhow, the Queen of Swords um, is very honest, very truthful, very forthright, very brash and assertive. She may be giving somebody a peace of mind or giving somebody a new perspective. Uh, the Queen of Swords is somebody that is in a professional position, so we have a professional, could be a professional speaker or somebody that is in a... Um, now the Queen of Swords is typically somebody that is all about justice, all about law, you know, about doing the right thing, acting with integrity. This is somebody that is very intelligent, that has some sort of information. Um, she's keeping some of it to herself, but she's going to be expressing some of it, or maybe she already has. 
about whoever this person is that lacks respect for others, that is unwilling to cooperate. So there is going to be some sort of information. I feel like something is going to be said or there's, there's something going on here. Um, the Queen of Swords, she speaks, she, she speaks her mind. So there's something that is going to be spoken in regards to an individual that is not very, very responsible. There's lack of responsibility, lack of, of teamwork. So there's going to be some sort of conversation. I think it's going to be a challenging conversation. This could even be somebody in the law. I mean, the Queen of Swords, it could be a lawyer, could be an investigator, could be... Um, somebody in uh well whoever this person is they're in a professional position they are very well read you know they're very experienced i feel like they're an experienced individual that it's going to be delivering some challenging information i do apologize for the noise outside i am going to be putting up sound barriers in the next month anyhow um it's going to take me a minute um, but anyway, there is some sort of truth that is going to uh, be said in the next uh, few days by the looks of things or very, very soon. This is somebody that is authentic, truthful, assertive, brash. It's not about the feelings. It's about the facts. So there is some facts that are going to be coming out about an individual that acts impulsively without thinking. So we do have somebody here that acts without thinking. This is somebody that is disrespectful. This is somebody that is disrespectful, that is very superficial, very greedy, very shallow, um, irresponsible. We have somebody here that's irresponsible. And this person sees very, very clearly. So there is some sort of, we have somebody here that is very intelligent, that sees the truth. Two of Wands. Now the Two of Wands is uh, being at a crossroads. It's being at a crossroads, needing to make a choice. This is all about choices. Somebody is, needs to make a choice. A choice, a, a decision is going to be made about which path to go down. King of Wands, King of Wands, and the King of Wands is somebody that is in a position of authority that is making a decision. So a decision, is, well, there we go again, a decision is definitely going to be made. Action is going to be taken. Somebody is going to be taking action against an individual that isn't practical. This person isn't practical. They're, they're uh, doing something illegal. I feel like we have somebody here that's doing something illegal. Um... I think we have an individual here that is, I feel like there's some sort of, oh, I think it's a huge loss for the King of Pentacles reverse. This is the decision maker, the ruler, uh, the dictator, the boss. You know, this is somebody that is making a decision, in a position of authority that is making a decision, okay? This is somebody who is making a decision based on the truth that they are receiving from another person. Because like one person is delivering the facts, this one is making the decision. It's probably not an easy decision. Whoever they are dealing with up here is uh, unreliable. This person is unreliable. They don't, they don't have anything real to offer. And they are unwilling to cooperate. Now the King of Wands is, is somebody that is a hard worker that has worked themselves up to a position of authority. This is a leader. So we do have somebody here that is taking the lead, that is making a decision. It's interesting that is making a, it, it's, an, it's, it's a decision and I feel like it's a very sudden decision. 
It's a very impulsive decision. We could have two people that are making a decision. We have we have somebody that is making, and this is sudden, sudden, sudden. So I feel like we have somebody here that is making a sudden decision. And I feel like this a decision is going to... Uh, probably not make somebody very happy. This is a very messy situation that needs to be cleaned up. So it's cleanup time. It's time to clean up a messy situation. So, you know, what is the decision to stop something from happening? Stop. I just, I just heard stop. Justice. Oh my God. This may have to do with the law. And if I didn't say it earlier, I was thinking it. I might have said it, but I, I was definitely thinking it. Um, something to do with the law, uh, karma, law, justice, court. We could have something to do with court here. Making a, a final decision based on the facts, based on the truth, uh, based on integrity to bring balance back to a situation. Balance is needed. So there is definitely a decision that is going to be made. And it is going to, everything is going to turn out as it should. This is a fair and just decision for everybody involved. So that a decision is going to be made based on the facts, based on the truth. Uh, a decision to bring balance back. Because things are obviously imbalanced. If you, I said, what is it? And this came out. And in, and in this justice card, the scales are not balanced. So it's, it's, time to, it's time for balance. This is about restoring balance. Restoring balance, peace, and harmony. So somebody is about to be... And this is a card of consequences. It is a card of consequences. So there is some sort of consequences. Um... There could be news of legalities. Somebody may be receiving some news of legalities or, you know, they may be, you know, uh, getting some information, and, well, it's challenging information that may involve, you know, a decision that is being made that may seem like it's not fair, but I feel like it's a fair and just decision that is going to be made. Uh, anyhow, justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with a, a Gemini or an Aquarius. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here as well. Uh, taking action. Somebody is taking action right now. There's no time to waste. This is a messy, messy, messy situation. There's nothing. Uh, this is a false foundation. I mean, the four of fours are foundations. That's a foundation. It's not stable. It's not. Okay, I don't need the tower. The fours, that's a foundation that is uh, no longer happy. Okay, this is not a happy commitment. It's not a happy place. So it, it's it's it, was, it may have been good for a minute, but it's over. Um, so taking action to clean up a huge mess. So mess is it's just cleanup time. It is definitely cleanup time. The laws of karma and justice are here. Um, some sort of truth. Some sort of truth is about to come out that is going to, uh, well, this is a person that is in a position of authority. This is a leader that is making an informed decision. They have been informed. They have been informed. And I don't know, it feels like they've been informed by several people. It feels like at least three people. Somebody has been informed, okay? So a decision is going to be made based on the truth, based on the facts. Um, it's sudden. It's a very. It's it's sudden. It's the decision. It's been it's been discussed. It's been discussed. But now it's decision time. It is decision time. It's time. It's time to choose which path to go down, because this is so unbalanced. It's so unbalanced. And balance is needed. Balance needs to be restored. So. Hmm. Whoever is making the decision is making the right decision. This is somebody that is very experienced, that is very confident, that has a lot of life experience. Somebody is making an, a decision based on uh, their previous experience. And whoever they're dealing with... Um, is doing something, I feel like that is against the law. I 
action is going to be taken immediately. Seven of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles investments. Time to go someplace else. This season is over. This season is over. The party is over. Absolutely. Yep. It's time to, to go someplace else. Somebody has been waiting for something to to grow that where there's no fertility. Where there's no fertility. They've been trying to nurture something where there's no happiness. There's no there's no there's no happiness. There's no life. You know, there's there's no room for growth. So somebody has something hasn't been growing like it was supposed to grow. And the only option is to go someplace else. So anyhow, I do I do feel like there is going to be some sort of relocation perhaps or uh, well, it's obviously cleanup time. It is, like I said, something is about to be cleaned up and it's time to go someplace else. It's time to plant seeds someplace else. Go where there's more uh, fertile ground. You know, somebody needs to go where there will be growth, where there will be light, you know, where there will be happiness. And where they're at right now, there ain't no light and there ain't no happiness. And I feel like it's a dead end. It is a dead end. So I do feel like there is something that is about to change very, 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 very fast because it's over. It is. I mean, this is this is the end of a situation. Um, it's time to do the right thing. This is karma as well. Somebody may be receiving some karmic consequences even. This is karmic consequences or consequences, period. They may be receiving consequences, and it's mirroring this King of Pentacles reversed. Somebody may be receiving some consequences for impulsive actions, okay? And the only thing to do now is to go someplace else where there's, you know... It's time to go down a new path. It is definitely time to go down a new path. Somebody could be leaving, you know, they could be leaving in a hurry, you know, and, and, you know, because this is leaving in a hurry. Somebody could be leaving in a hurry, leaving a commitment, leaving something that they were once investing in because it's dead end. You know, if I stay here, it's a dead end, you know, so somebody is leaving a situation extremely fast by the looks of things. And they're going down a new path. This is going down a new path. It's like they've been indecisive and they've been unsure if they should go down that path. But now they have an informed, they've received some sort of information or something that has given them the clarity that they need to help them make the decision to take the lead, to take control. You know? Or somebody may be making the decision for them. This could be the law that's making the decision. Just saying. You could have somebody that is in protective services and there's all kinds of titles there that is making a decision. Okay? A decision is definitely be It could be karma. A decision is being made to restore balance in a relationship or commitment or something that is no longer growing. Okay? There's no growth here. It's time to go. It's time to go someplace where there will be growth. You know, where there will be fertility, where you will get a reward, you know, you'll reap some sort of reward instead of nothing. So anyhow, um, anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that is, that, that is, uh, about to have a run-in of some sort. This person is about to have a run-in, and it, whether it's with karma or it's the law, there is about to be some sort of consequences for, I don't know, disrespect, 
lack of, of communication, lack of uh, teamwork, illegal, illegal dealings. Somebody had been doing something illegal and they got somebody that knows about it. This person knows about it and they're going to tell the truth. And a decision is going to be made based on the truth. By a, by a person that is very experienced. Good luck.